Well, we have Paco Vallejo here with us. He just won a game against uh, Boris Gelfand. And it seems like um, dreams come true, actually. That's what you were dreaming about, to win at least one game in the Grand Prix Series. I mean, it happened today. Yeah. What can you say? Well, it took me only 21 games to win one. So, I mean, I can celebrate now. <laughs> no, I mean, of course, I mean, it's, it was a very tough fight. Uh, I'm actually quite proud of the game because he put a lot of pressure in the opening. He he played super fast. I think I'm not sure it was home preparation or not, but at some point I just didn't understand because he's a pawn down and okay maybe he can hold, but uh, it's an unpleasant end game. But so I didn't understand the home preparation. But but sometimes of course you you bluff a little bit. Yeah. Just trying. Maybe it was kind of bluff or something because I saw you were thinking a lot and like, getting well. nervous a bit. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of complicated to play when your opponent just splits them all the moves uh, in the opening, and it's such a complex position. But once I changed queens, okay, I was happy already that uh, I don't have so much risk. And uh, then, at some point, I tried to do something, but I realized it's not so easy. So I decided to play random moves for like ten moves, reach the time control. This was a smart idea actually. And then. I found a great plan, I think, to put the rooks on e2, c2, and to bring the king via d1, e1, f2, and not, and not a3, e3, which is the most logical, because then a3 is happening. And if I take on a3, then he will recover this pawn. It, if I go b3, he will go rook b3, and it, he will take also on h3, and it becomes very complicated. So I have to go via f3 and e4, which is very... Strange, but uh, it stops this idea with a3, but it allows the only idea for him is to play some f5, as he did. But I, I calculated and I thought it's winning, so I had to do it because uh, the other ideas were some not so big advantage. So I thought this was correct, and well, as far as I saw, it was winning, but uh, maybe I missed something, I don't know. Um, for example, if he, he wouldn't play this f5, did he have another choice at this moment? Well, but then I reach finally the destination of my king. I had to round the board to reach d4 and then c3. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be very unpleasant because he can never go a3 anymore and I can double my rooks on the e-file to go rook e7. c5 is hanging all the time. I mean, it becomes very, very difficult for him. But uh, I mean, I, I cannot say I, I saw... A winning uh, by for a win by force, but uh, well, I mean, I was happy that I reached king c3, and I still, I mean, I could still play many more moves because uh, I mean, I didn't. I mean, it's like 50 move rules, so I can, uh, since the last time I moved, I moved a pawn, it's still a lot of moves. So I mean, I had a lot of time to to think about what to do. But I mean, of course, uh, he didn't want to to go for that, and he thought uh, he had some practical chances in the end game. So he tried, but yeah, I think it should be winning. These two connected pawns are very strong, and no, I think it's enough. Yeah. Were you afraid at any moment that he would kind of build a fortress or something like this? Well, basically every moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, once he plays f5, there is no fortress anymore. No, that's true, but before, let's be say... Before, he is very close to have a, some kind of dynamic fortress. Mm -hmm. And, well, but I mean... I had the feeling it shouldn't be so easy. I mean, you're upon down, I should have some chances. But of course, it's a very complex position. And, uh, but I, I don't know, really. Uh, okay, I mean, he, he has kind of a fortress all the time. But it should be unpleasant for him anyway. I mean, sometimes to, I mean, normally to win a game, you need a little bit of help also. So I'm not sure if he, his rook will be on, I mean, when I started to go king d1, in this position, if he had an, like the rook on b8 or something a little different, then he'll have this maneuver with bishop c8, bishop a6 faster. Mm -hmm. And then I thought it's much more difficult for me than in the game. So, I mean, like little details can change everything. So, well. Like in everything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you going to celebrate this victory? Actually, some game still has to be played. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, I haven't won the tournament or anything, just one game. But, I mean, it's so tough to win one game that it's already something. But and especially against such a good opponent, I guess. Well, there is no bad opponents here, as, as far as I know. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's very tough. And especially after losing yesterday, it's a good way. I mean, it shows some, some strength to recover today and to play a good game today. So tomorrow we'll see.
you are playing, of course, in Spain, in your hometown, but really there were too many, too many spectators today. I mean, an unexpected amount of people came, and it's clear that they were, I don't know, supporting you, and I heard small kids saying your name, like Vallejo. How did you feel at this moment? You know, they were showing on you and saying, Paco, Paco. So what can you say about it? I mean, have you heard something, and what is your why, why, feelings? Why, why do you say too many? I mean... <laughs> No, no. I mean, it's usually it's more. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, but normally I don't play in Spain, so mm -hmm. I don't have this this feeling so often. But uh, of course, it's it's nice when 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 people are supporting you. But if you lose, it doesn't matter. So I mean, w once you win, everything is okay. But uh, I mean, I mean, uh, most of the people who who support me, I guess, they are sitting at home right now. I mean, they're, they're watching the games from from the sofa, which is of course very comfortable and. Uh, I mean, coming here, it's, it takes some effort, takes some time, and I understand that some, some people don't go, some don't come here, so... Yeah. How do you feel being kind of, I don't know, kind of star for the small generation, for the small kids who, are, who just started to play chess? Do you feel in a way responsible for something? Well, I don't feel like a star at all, actually, <laughs> so... No, I don't think... Uh, I don't have this feeling of responsibility at all. I don't think I'm a someone to follow in general so <laughs> so I try to play my best I try to to at least uh, whatever the result is I try to give my best every game so then I cannot really I mean I cannot complain to myself later that uh, well I mean if you do what you can I mean what what to do I mean but this is already a good example I think for the others yeah oh well, but they don't know that <laughs> I'm just telling you now Okay, thank you so much for your comments and for the interview. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.